Hello and welcome folks to another video with your host Annie B. And as you can see it's really hard to see everything because we're zoomed into this bowl here. The bowl we're using here is just so the dice don't go anywhere, but we have a new dice game for you to play. So it's going to require you to have one die that's a different color than the rest. So let's say for example our white die and then two red dies. The two red dies will be your cut will be your number. And then when you roll the white die, it will be the number that gets subtracted from your actual number. Now the trick is to become positive. This is the easier way to play this game. So let's take a roll for it and see if we win. Okay, so our number was six. See, we have a two and a four. That means we have six minus the four, which kind of cancels out here. So we came up positive with two. So we won that round. Now this round, you can lose this round if you roll super low. Oh, see, 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 I thought, I thought for a second I was going to get snake eyes and then come out double. If you come out, if you come out with pairs, so if we, see if we got, <clears throat> see if we got two ones, two ones and a two. That's not doubles, but we came out even, right? We struck even, which means we didn't lose, but we get to roll again. That's how that works. Excuse the camera for being the way it is. Let's try one more time real quick, just so you guys get the idea. All right, so in this case, we won really well here. We only got minus one to our five, which made us have four. Now, a good way to play this is to either bet the number. It's either to bet the number or bet that you're going to become a positive or negative. Uh, your friends and you could play for this, obviously. Like, everybody can play this at the same time. Like, they can make bets towards if you're going to do well or they're going to do well. And I know my finger is a really bad version of me, but that's okay. Let's try one more time. Whoa. Wow, we came up positive by one point. By one point. All right. Now, the other way to play this game, right, is to make you be the white die and then the red dies be the one, be the number that gets subtracted from your white die. But the catch is you got to play with three red dies. Ooh. Now, this could be your high stakes version. So if you decide to do this, they should get triple, quadruple, and they get, if they come up positive, that you get triple, triple, slight, 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 yeah. Triple the either, because normally what you're supposed to do is bet and get double. So I bet one, then I'm going to come up positive. Oh, I got it. Cool. Now I get two points for that, right? So if you bet one, I feel like if you bet one on this and you win, you should get times three because it's, it's, it's harder. Either that or times four or even, or even quadruple. Oh, for saying that, I read it. I was like, oh, shit, no. But yeah, no, that's all minus from this number here. So the only way to the best way to really win this would be you would have to roll. You would literally have to roll a five. Like you would have to roll five in order to win this here. Now, this is a difficult version. Of course, this is the difficult version because there's three. There's three, three dice working against you and only one working for you. That's why when people usually play this or we play this, it's we my friends play this. We usually play with two red dies being our number, and this being the be, this being the um, the number that gets subtracted, the one that's working against us, and the two that are working with us. This game is a lot of fun. Um, if you're just playing with friends, you need something to do. Um, I would never stream this game. I'll tell you that much because it's not. Well, maybe I will in the future, just to, just for the hell of it, because it's something we can keep on doing over and over again. Everybody in the chat can take turns with, and since we have a betting system with Pond Bot, we might be able to do it. Um, but for the most part, it seems that we're always coming out negative. Um, it could be the bowl I'm using, but then again, it's dice. It's gonna be it's gonna be rigged no matter what, rigged to lose. Plus, because there's two dice going against us, and you can roll high on both the other dice, it's really hard to get. Like, oh, yeah, no, we came up positive there. There you go. Well, it's easy to come up positive on this one actually. I think it's more, it's better to maybe bet on the number that you're going to get instead. Because, see, for example, here, it's really easy. It's, like, super easy to get this here. Whereas, I get, like I said, if it was high stakes, I would say if you're going to roll, if the person that's playing is going to go for high stakes, I'd play with the four dice because it's much more difficult to come up positive. And then you can at least, at least you can then guess what they're going to get, either what they're going to roll. You can guess what they're going to roll or what the subtract, like, if, like, say, for example, like, you can say, I bet there's going to be two twos on the board. You could do that. Like, there's a whole tons of rules. There's a ton, there's a ton of rules. A way, uh, how we're going to do this. So, how you can do this. So, a good way to do this, a good fun way to do this, I, I think anyway, is you can either do that or play another way of playing, which is with three dice the same color, right? Now, what you could do is, all right, I bet there's going to be, there's going to be one three. I was wrong, but if I said there was going to be two twos, I'd be correct. Or if I said there was going to be two twos and there was only one two, I would be wrong as well. Now, I think there's going to be, let's say there's going to be two fours. 
I'd be wrong. See? There's two ones and a two. Damn it, I fucked up. But there was a total of four. So if I did bet, so say for example, so in that case, if I did bet that there was going to be one four on the board, right? And all the numbers added up to four, to one four, then I would be right. I like how this game works a lot too. Um, but my favorite, in all honesty, is the... Am I going to come up positive? I think I'm going to come up positive. I came up positive. Look at that. Perfect positive. I'm going to come out... I think I'm going to come up positive again. <gasps> oh, shit. I, I beat him by one. I beat it by one. Wow. Shoot. All right. Because that's another way you can bet, too. Oh, I'm going to beat it by... I'm going to beat it by two or more. Shoot. I beat it by... I beat it by two... Or more, because these guys cancel each other out, and then this is by itself, so that makes it five. We won by five. Nice. I like that. So this is a fun game that you can use with your friends, play with your friends and everything like that, if you feel like it. But other than that, guys, I just wanted to show you this game, because I got showed it yesterday, and I feel like it's a good, cool little video to throw up, and I wanted some chill music out in the back. I hope you guys can hear the music over me, um, because I'm not talking too deep into my mic. I'm just kind of like sit, sat back a little bit. Just, uh, just chilling, just relaxing, just chilling, just relaxing. Rolling some dice. Hanging out. Winning by fours. Anyway, so guys, I will see you guys in the next video. I uh, hope you enjoyed this game. If you did or learned something brand new, leave it in the comment section down below. Hey, I have a Twitter and a Discord as well. Come show me some cool shit or some cool games that you guys had here playing with dice or anything like that. If you want a bowl like this here, um, I got it from a restaurant. Honestly, I bought it. I bought it off of them. I was like, dude, can I bar? Can I like buy this bowl off of you guys? The white here is this is a this is a bowl that was um that shaved. Let me see if I can back it up a little bit. Is like, honestly, really cool. Look at, here you go. Pacific Merchants. I see a wear. Love this bowl. It's freaking, freaking awesome. Freaking fantastic. It used to eat out of it. Now I just, now I just play dice in it. Now we just roll dice in it when we're playing board games. It's easier to roll it in here because you got these curved sections here that it can dip into. So when you throw it against the wall, they roll back. They roll back into the middle of the bowl and they, and it, and it pretty much gives them a pretty good roll. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? It goes, it goes up against the wall and comes back down again. So it gives it a nice, gives you a nice roll. Plus, especially because we're using, we're using dice that has these, uh, these curved corners. These curved corners let you let them roll more instead of using like one that has um, pointed corners. If you use a dice that has pointed corners, it doesn't really roll as much. The more, the more spherical your die is, the more spherical your dice are, the more roll they'll have to them. And the, and the I think the better the roll you'll get, the better chance you'll getting get, of getting a better roll. So if you do this with your friends, use use a bowl. I would use a bowl with with a flat middle. This guy here has a flat middle. This this entire section from like here, I'm trying to feel it out from like here to here is all flat in this radius. So it's it's definitely definitely a pretty damn cool bowl. Oh damn yeah, we, we won by five because these two cancel each other out. We won by five. Nice. Loving it. All right. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good day, guys, and have some fun. Bye bye.